I'm, uh, I live in uh, just outside of Pittsburgh. I know you guys are probably big Pittsburgh fans. <laughs> But you know, we have a lot in common. You know, we're this, uh, we're this, this. Uh, they call it the Rust Belt, the manufacturing Woo! belt. Of America. Absolutely. And um, this record uh, that I'm out supporting um, is mostly written for my friends uh, that I have in in the Pittsburgh area, who are trying to come to terms with uh, that friction between the past and the future, uh, often called the present. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> and this song in particular, um, I, uh, I grew up, uh, you're going to love this too, I grew up just south of Philadelphia. I know you guys are probably big Eagles fans around here, right? You probably, you probably like the Eagles more than you like the Steelers, right? Oh, no. And this is a music thing. No, Glenn Fry did quarterback for the Eagles for a while. Um, <laughs> but uh, this song is um, a song I wrote. Uh, my dad worked at Scott Paper just south of Philly. Um, and uh, just before his retirement, Scott Paper had been bought out by um, a, a company called Kimberly Clark. Um, as we all kind of know, uh, uh, hundreds of companies seem to just becoming one company uh, at any rate in, in, in lots of businesses but I wrote this song with um, you know I get I'm fortunate that I get to travel and uh, um, a lot of times I'm in rush hour in, in different places and I see people hunkered down making a living sitting in the hell of rush hour traffic doing it for themselves and for the future and for the people they love and, you know, I know it's, it, I don't mean this corny at all. I think it's actually very important. Whether you like the song or not is kind of irrelevant. Um, but I wrote the song with those people in mind. Um, I think in our culture where, um, I don't mean to start soapboxing, where a lot of kind of useless stuff gets celebrated, you know? Some guy that smells really good or some girl that has a really nice butt. I mean, there's nothing wrong with butts. <laughs> You know, but I think a teacher should probably be making more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got nothing against butts. And I'm not, this isn't an anti-butt stance that I'm taking. But it's for people that uh, sit in traffic and work hard uh, quietly and hopefully find a lot of beauty at least one or two days a week out of it. No credits. 